Hello and welcome to Quick Charge. I'm Steven and today is Monday, March 25th. The issue of safely charging e-bikes is a growing topic of concern in the US with news of e-bike fires and the risk associated to lithium ion batteries. Now, a new charging solution could provide an answer to the problem. Austin-based company MOD Bikes have developed e-bike charging stations. These offer to solve the problem of safe, secure charging. The first style of charging station is intended for fleet use by MOD Bike customers. It essentially works like a multi-pronged charging pedestal. The chargers are designed to match MOD bike batteries, but they could be built to work with any specific type of e-bike battery. The second charging station is designed for public use and includes a method to lock the charger and battery in the charging station. Now this would be an ideal situation for any of those riders who don't want to risk their bike sitting outside all night, but who also aren't allowed to bring their battery indoors for charging. Both of these solutions require a very small footprint, yet provide a huge service for those who don't have access to charging at home. Public charging areas have long been the norm in China, where e-bike batteries are a much more common daily commuting vehicle than in the US. We are still in the early days of e-bike adoption in the US, and so charging is still being figured out in real time. Countries with large e-bike adoption rates, public charging stations for e-bike batteries are already the norm. Musk has mandated Tesla employees to install and demo full self-driving beta for every customer taking delivery in North America. Full self-driving beta automates all aspects of driving on city streets and highways, but it requires the driver's attention at all times. Tesla's goal is to improve the system until it can eventually remove the requirement to have the driver's attention at all times making it true full self-driving. The automaker is currently rolling out version 12 of its FSD beta system, which has been touted as a major step forward for the system by powering vehicle controls with neural nets. In order to boost the take rate, Tesla will install the FSD beta software on all new cars being delivered. Musk says that he wants more people to realize how well supervised FSD actually works. Tesla is no longer compute constrained in its AI training. Self-driving is an incredibly difficult problem to solve. Despite yearly guidance that it is about to achieve full self-driving, Tesla has not yet been able to achieve this goal. Now, one of the reasons for this is a lack of neural nets powering its self-driving, and another has been compute power limitations, creating a bottleneck in its neural net training. Tesla has been investing billions of dollars in NVIDIA computing power, to create new supercomputer clusters to train its neural nets. Training compute and end-to-end -end neural nets seems like the last piece of the puzzle. In theory, with everything powered by neural nets and enough computing power to train the neural nets, we should see a massive increase in the rate of improvement. Tesla might have found its path to FSD becoming a true unsupervised self-driving system that can achieve level four or even five autonomy. Nissan launched a new business plan to drive down EV costs. The new plan calls for a significant EV cost reduction to reach ICE costs partly by the end of the decade. Nissan CEO said, we cannot continue old ways of business from the past into the future. Faced with extreme market volatility, Nissan is taking decisive actions to ensure profitable growth. The two-part plan includes accelerating its transitions to EVs while maintaining a balanced electrified ICE portfolio. The automaker expects electrified vehicles to account for 60% of global sales by 2030. AeroHT announced its latest milestone today in a quest to achieve commercial operations of its all-electric flying cars in China. The company has successfully received design certification for its air module vehicle, bringing the technology one step closer to flight certification and customer deliveries. Last fall, Aero HT unveiled an actual flying car called the X3 that can drive, park, and take off on its own, as well as a modular EV that transports a separate flying car in its rear. The latter is expected to enter scaled production in 2025, ahead of customer deliveries in China. From there, the electric aviation arm can begin production plans and proceed its plans for scaled production and customer deliveries next year. In today's community comments found on YouTube, Somebody mentioned that automakers have not been able to compete with low-cost EVs. Well, traditional automakers have been late to the party, and now there are many new EV manufacturers that are out there with mature products. So it's going to take a lot for them to stay competitive in this market. Thank you for watching Quick Charge by Electric. 
I'm Steven and have a great day.